Okay guys, what is up and welcome back into the channel guys. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted last, um, but it's been kind of hard. Um, you know, with school just ending up here soon and I uh, just got done with baseball a week or two ago. So I've uh, had a lot of stuff going on, um, especially with reasons and shit coming up for school. But today... Uh, we are going to be taking a look at some of the landing spots for DeAndre Hopkins um, because obviously he has now become a free agent. Uh, the Cardinals have released him. Um, so uh, let's get right into the video, guys. Um, so obviously last year he played for the Arizona Cardinals where he caught 64 passes for 717 yards and three touchdowns in only nine games. Um, obviously, he came off of a suspension um, six games into the season, so he didn't play the full year. Um, so, first off, uh, we're going to be looking at the Buffalo Bills. Um, I think this team is a pretty good fit for him because they are not only a contender, but they have a good quarterback as well and obviously d -Hop, who's getting older he's gonna want to go to a team who's a contender and a team who has a good quarterback and the bills have both of these spaces checked off they also have good threats around him so he's in there you know he's not gonna be the only threat around there um you know they have stefan Diggs, but what they really need now is to be able to get a running mate for Stephon Diggs and I think if they could get that in D Hop, I think they would be a really deadly team. Um you know, get a running mate with Stephon Diggs, I think it would be really good. Um they do only have one and a half million dollars right now in available cap space, but obviously they could find a way to free up some cap space to sign a big name player like DeAndre Hopkins. Um, you know, they could obviously do it. There's no question about it. Um, so, obviously, I think this is somewhere where D Hop would like to go. Um, because, like I said earlier, they're a contender. They have a good quarterback. They have a good team. You know, they have good weapons. Um, so, but another pretty good option for him is the Chiefs. Um, so they could use a playmaker like Hopkins. He's got a lot of experience to add to that receiving core. He's pretty young, actually. Uh, the receiving core right now adds or includes Kadarius Tony, uh, Marquez Valdez Gantling, and Sky Moore. So if they add a guy like D Hop, he would automatically go in there and be the number one wide receiver, and could kind of um, take over that team and take over that receiver core. Um, but he also still has a really good team around him, and also with an MVP at quarterback in Patrick Mahomes. So he has everything he wants in a team in Kansas City. So he would be able to go there um it's a good option for him you know their contenders have good quarterbacks would be a really good um really good team for him to go to next up we're gonna look at the lions um so i think hopkins will fit into this roster pretty good af honestly um so the lions receiving core would be really nice if they added d hop so right now it consists of Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameson Williams, once he serves his suspension, uh, Marvin Jones, and Josh Reynolds, which is an amazing, amazing group, man. Um, and if you add in DeAndre Hopkins to that, man, that is, and um, I make that even more. Um, so obviously they do, they have a good quarterback in Jared Goff. They have a good team around him. And if they had a D hop into this, that would just be crazy, man. Um, Cause they also have a good running game as well with David Montgomery and DeAndre Swift. 
um, but adding another big name receiver like that would really just take that team to the top and they would really be seen as one of the top teams. I have the Lions as one of my favorites right now. I actually have them winning their division. Um, I have them winning the NFC North. Um, and probably in a little while I will do my predictions for the teams and everything like that. But I'd have the Lions having a really good season. If they had D-Hop, that would be even bigger for them. Um, but next up... We got the Baltimore Ravens. So, the only reason they're on the list is because Hopkins uh, recently had listed his five quarterbacks that he would like to play with. And Jackson was one of the guys included in the group. Um, he said, on quote, I would be lying to sit here and say it wouldn't be an honor one day if my career allows me to play that long to play with a great guy and a great quarterback like Lamar, end quote. Um, and he said that on his appearance on the I Am Athlete podcast. Um, and he has a chance here. Um, and actually, the Ravens aren't horrible at wide receiver right now. Usually they are. They have an okay group. They added OBJ, Nelson Aguilar, and Zay Flowers, and that includes Rashawn Bateman and Devin Duvenary already on the list. Um, obviously, they already have Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely at tight end, too, but, I mean, it's DeAndre Hopkins. You're bringing in an all-pro. Like, are you going to question it? Like, why not? Right? It makes sense in there he wants to play with Lamar like why not give him that opportunity you know to play with one of the quarterbacks he wants to play with I think that would be good for the Ravens to sign him you got a couple of veterans and you got a couple of young guys down there that are really going to be able to help that team out um so, next up, we're actually going to be looking at two teams who are in kind of a similar boat. The Panthers and the Tex Texans. Um, so, both of them obviously just got their uh, new QB of the future in Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. Um, so, obviously, both of these teams both have a lot of remaining cap money so they could give him a nice fat contract if he wanted to go play for them and both of them have a good quarterback situation now with brand new rookie quarterbacks that are going to help that team a lot so i think those are a couple of spots that maybe if he's just seeking a money contract that he could go to one of those two teams because they do have a good bit of money for him um but finally we're going to go to the Cowboys, um, and obviously we know Jerry Jones is, you know, always looking to add somebody, um, and obviously the Cowboys, I mean, are kind of looking for a wide receiver right now. Um, they do only have $10.6 million in cap space, but they could definitely find a place for him in their offense, um, but they did have Brandon Cooks, but that's okay. Uh, because, you know, they'll find Hopkins a spot in that offense. Um, you know, you add him in there with Tony Pollard, C.D. Lamb, Michael Gallup, and now Brandon Cooks and D-Hop. That's going to be a pretty stacked offense and a, with a pretty good defense, too. So, overall, pretty good team down there in Dallas where they can secure this D-Hop deal. Um... And I think playing with Dak might also help D Hop go over there. Um, but he has also already spoke about how much he enjoys the state of Texas and how much he likes the state of Texas. So I think that kind of helps their chances of being able to sign him. Um, but that is going to be all for today's video, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and get back to posting on a regular schedule again. Uh, but I will see you guys next time.